plaid mode is here. One raw piece of film and we stretch it across the front bumper. All right, today's the day, special delivery, Tesla Plaid. I got home delivery set up. Tesla is bringing the car out to me and I'm trading in the Model 3. I see him down there right now, pulling around the corner. Here he comes. I cannot wait to get in this car. Tesla home delivery. How about that for service, huh? Plaid mode is here. We got Ryder pulling up. Here we go, multi-coat red, arachnid wheels. Walk around the back here. And we got, here we go, plaid mode. What's going on, Ryder? What's up? How you doing, bud? Good, how are you? Thank you for uh, bringing by the car. Of course. Anytime. Appreciate that. You know what one thing is missing? It's missing. I went to the event. I should get the p cool plaid badge on the oh. back. Don't you think so? <laughs> I mean, think if you were there and buy a car, is. what? A special this car is, I would think so, I yeah. think we need the plaid badge. Yeah. Someone's actually making them on um, eBay. Really? I've seen a replica. Someone probably 3D printed it. Um, yeah. But maybe I'll just buy that and see how, how, how good it looks. Yeah. yeah. So how did it drive since you got to drive before me? It's amazing. Yeah? It, this car is insane. Yeah, I can't wait. Wow. So yeah, we'll check it out here. We got multi-coat red, the binoculated wheels. And we have the black leather interior, of course, with the carbon fiber. Uh, we will go over a lot of this later. I don't want to waste Ryder's time. I got some paperwork to sign. Yep. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. Model 3. Oh. Model 3 is getting traded. You'll be driving the Model 3 back. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? What's your favorite in here? The McLaren um, or the jet ski? I think I'm going to go McLaren. You're going to McLaren? Over <laughs> yeah. the 4GT? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, okay, wait. 4GT. Mm. Mm, I don't know. It's a hard pick. Hard pick? Hard pick. Yeah. Tesla's faster than them all, probably. Them. It's gonna be crazy. Spank them. Yeah, <laughs> I think the closest race will be the McLaren. Yeah, I think obviously, the one. Um, they got to release the 200 miles an hour. When's that coming? Who knows? We'll yeah, about. we'll see. It's gonna be soon, though. Yeah. Let's get, let's get these first batches of, uh, of the, the um, plaids out. And right. Stuff yeah, because like 163. I mean, that's fast. Yeah, that's but the, but it's not as fast as you want to be. They did say it was 200 miles an hour. We do have to remove the front plate. Yes. Um, so I will do that later. Hopefully that'll be okay. Paint's intact over there. All right, so first stop after taking delivery, we headed over to Hughes Detailing. You've seen these guys on my video before. Brandon out here does an awesome job of uh, protecting the cars, and especially with the Tesla. This car is in the multi-coat red, and we're gonna be doing a lot of racing with this car and a lot of street driving. So although you saw it racing already, that is, uh, we actually trailered that to the track because it was a last minute rental. But, before, but right after that, I brought the car down here to Brandon to get full Expel done. We did Expel tint and we, did, we coated the car. Yep. We did on um, this specific car, we did the entire front end of the car um, and all the high impact areas such as the rocket panels. We wrapped everything in Expel Ultimate uh, film. So everything has clear protective film so that way Brooks will not have any more rock chips from drag racing or uh, uh, so trees. Um, besides that, we polished out the whole car so we got the paint as perfect as possible. Um, applied Expel's Fusion ceramic coating on the whole exterior of the car. And we also applied uh, Expel's XR Plus uh, ceramic tint. So we did the front windshield in the 70% and then we did everything else, uh, the sides and back in the 20%. I can't stress enough how important it is to protect these cars. These cars are expensive. This came in at like $136,000. And my last Tesla P100D was red. I did not protect that car at all. And the entire front, Tesla paint, to be honest, is a little bit soft. And when it picks up a rock, it just chips. Mm -hmm. And I had these little kind of white, and the primer I think is underneath is a white gray. Uh, kind of, it's, it's plastic underneath it, but. Yeah, so like basically what you would get after, I don't know, a year and a half of driving and 40,000 miles is a peppering of little spots of the front coming off. Yep. A lot but, of little road rash and rock chips. Exactly, but it looks awesome. He did, you did the entire front bumper in one piece. Correct. So we have no seams. 
That's really cool. That's a custom job? Yep. This is fully custom. This is something that's special and unique to us. So what we do is we take one raw piece of film and we stretch it across the front bumper. So the difference between doing it custom versus doing a pre-cut is one, it allows us to eliminate the seam that comes down here from the normal pre-cut, but the pre-cut's done in a couple pieces. So here we have one complete piece of film, so it gives you that much more coverage and overall it looks that much better. Yeah, so no seams. That because the seams let some dirt in, Correct. right? Yeah. After so you wash if the, the car. Seams aren't properly placed on some cars, even if you try to get it butt to butt. Um, any sort of gap over time can allow dirt to build up in the edges. So here, since there's no visible seams, um, it's basically treated just like paint. So you won't have any dirt build up or anything like that. And overall, it just looks amazing. So over here, the tint job came out awesome. This is a 20% all around. That's what we did. Correct. So okay. We did 70% on the front windshield, and then we did 20% on everything else. Gotcha, it just matches gloss. So with this gloss black that's new coming on the Model S with the black doors, the black windows, the black trim, it just is a really, really wicked blacked out look, especially with the wheels matching too. So gone are the days of waxing. Of course, ceramic coating is here to stay. We actually coated the entire car with Expel Fusion Coating. So no more waxing. Correct, no more waxing, no more application of regular sealants, although you can wipe the car down with a quick detail spray if you want to. But the idea behind the ceramic coating on there is it makes maintenance really easy, makes the car super easy to clean, and also keeps the car uh, really glossy. So on all the film of the car has the Expo Fusion coating as well as all the areas that we didn't wrap, which is the exposed paint, all have coating on it. All right, so now that we got the car completely protected, I can do some street testing. Uh, so this car is the quickest production car made. Yep. At the track, I know people have already seen that video, around 924 at 151 miles an hour. Now that I got protected, I can take it out and do some street testing. I don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference. The traction control in this car is unbelievable. How, the, how fast do you think it's gonna go on the street? Street service, quarter mile. Go go nine twos? I, I think it'll get pretty close to it. All right, so we're gonna get ready and do that test now that the car's protected. Now we also got the Ferrari SF90 coming in, yep. so that's gonna be completely done as well. Of course that, I'm gonna have trailer down. We cannot risk yep. anything on that no car. No miles on that one, though. we want that one No, brand new. we need a pristine coming in here and uh, we'll do the paint correction on that. But if you're in the Miami area or anywhere in the country, you wanna bring your car down here to Brandon, a huge detailing, Get the full Expel treatment. I highly recommend it, especially on these Teslas when you are going fast and breaking records. All right, so that's a wrap of street testing on the Model S Plaid. This proves that you do not need a drag strip to get the maximum performance out of this car. As you saw in a previous video, our best at the drag strip was 924 at 151.8 miles an hour. And on the street, with a little bit less charge, you saw it run 923 at 152 and change. That is just incredible. And we got the elusive 1.99 zero to 60 on the street, no VHT, no drag strip needed, because Motor Trend was putting a big caveat on when they got 1.99 that it had to be done on the drag strip. Well, I just showed you right there, drag strip not required. It took a few tries. I actually got multiple runs in the 1.99 range, and it's just incredible. The Tesla just launches so perfect. And honestly, you can't even tell the difference between a 1.99 or a 1.98 or a 2.05 and even a 2.1. They all feel pretty much the same. But if you want to get what Tesla says it does, 1.99, you can definitely do it as we showed you in this video. Of course, I know what's coming next. Oh, that's the rollout number. That doesn't count. Whatever you want. We put in both numbers, 0 to 60, with and without the rollout. You can go compare that against any other car on the street. And it doesn't matter. You're not going to beat this car. So nevertheless, one foot rollout is the standard. That's why Tesla quotes it. That's why I'm using it. Motor Trend uses it. Car and Driver uses it. So, you know, however you want to roll it, it's still the quickest car you can buy for the street and for the track. 
1.990 to 60 on the street. 9.23 in the quarter mile on the street is just nuts fast. I've got a lot more stuff coming with this car. I know there's a lot of questions out there. What does it do with and without launch control? Uh, the cheetah mode with and without that? You know, what does it run on a 50% charge? 20% charge, how, how fast is it running on sport mode or chill mode? And uh, I'm gonna get all that stuff done. I'm also gonna do a full review of the car. You know, I haven't had a chance to do that because I wanna get these racing videos out first, but I will do a full review of what I love about the car, what I don't love about the car, and just an honest, straight up review of um, this Tesla Model S Plaid. Of course, everyone's also asking, where is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale? It is somewhere in the United States. I believe it's still at the port. I don't know why it's taking so long to get here. I will reach out to Ferrari and find out where it is. But as soon as the Ferrari gets here, I'm gonna have to boot the jet ski out, put that back in the water, bring the SF90 in here, and then get all the cars out. 765, SF90, Evo, 4GT, I got Randy from Savage Garage bringing out the McLaren P1, SVJ, and we're working on a lot, a lot of cool races setting up in the near future. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, helps the video and the channel. And if you want to see what we got coming next, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.